Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Rob here, nice to see you. Yes it is, so in today's video we're going to be discussing a G-Max Charizard, how you can use it on your competitive doubles team um, and how good it is. Um, I think all I think we all know for those who are interested in competitive doubles, we all know G Max Charizard is a good Pokemon. Um, first, let's have a look at its abilities. So it's got Blaze, which is a uh, very standard for fire type starters. By any means, it's not a bad ability when you're one third. Um, when your HP is below one third, um, your fire type moves are increased by fifty percent, which is a lot and it's good. I mean, you could argue. Um, you know, we'll get into that in a bit actually. Um, solar power, your special attack is raised 1.5 times when um, sun is active, but decreases your HP by HP um, decreases by one eighth every um, turn, um, which is immensely strong. Strong. Um, so yeah, they're two good abilities. Um, obviously, solar power being uh, the more reliable one there. Um, let's have a look at its, its uh, moves. Um, Air Slash, uh, good for Charizard. Heat Wave, also very good, and a spread move. Um, flame Throw, and, and I wouldn't really think Flame Throw is too relevant um, for Charizard right now. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad move, it's just not very relevant in the current format. Um, Soda Beam, great coverage. Uh, sunny Day, no, you're going to get someone else to do that for you. Uh, Will O Wisp, you're not going to use that on Charizard. Um, Weather Ball is interesting, um, but again, I don't really think it has uh, room for it on its move set. Um, ba -da -da -da. Fire Blast, no, nah, I think you'd go with um, Overheat personally, which it does learn, it does learn Overheat. Dragon Dance, no. Dragon Pulse, um, there's, an op you can, there's options to run that, um, same with Focus Blast actually. Um, Hurricane is a great move if you want a stronger max airstream. Ancient Power an option and obviously a fly fire pledge and a blast burn blast burn blah, 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 blah. blast burn is great turns into an extremely strong max move um let's have a look at that i'm pretty sure it turns into 150 base power max move uh, yes it does which is extremely strong um very strong indeed right let's have a look at its stats so seven, uh, five, three, four base total, which is good, very good. Seventy-eight HP, eighty-four attack, seventy-eight defense, one hundred nine, one hundred nine special attack, eighty-five special defense, and one hundred speed. One hundred speed in the current format is absolutely amazing. Um, it outspeeds a lot of Pokemon. There's not a lot of Pokemon above that that are meta relevant. Um, maybe Weevil, um, but not really so much. You can't do anything to Charizard. Um, Dragapult, obviously, Inteleon, um, Raichu. Uh, there's a handful of Pokemon there that are faster in it. Um, 109 special attack isn't the greatest in the world, um, but it's definitely very usable. It's a very solid special attack stat for an offensive Pokemon, especially paired with 100 base speed in this format. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, it is frail. You know, it's got that four times weakness to rock, and we all know there's a lot of Tyranitar and extra drill running around the format here. Um, we're going to now move over to oh, a shiny sprite there. Absolute shiny G Max Charizard is Baus. All right, so looking, let's go to Pokemon Showdown here. Right, so this is a pretty standard Charizard set, okay? Um, Soda Power is the ability, Life Orb as the, life orb as the item, uh, Heat Wave, Air Slash, Soda Beam, and Protect. For terms of um, EVs and nature, Timid with max speed and special attack, very standard. This leftover, you could put this anywhere. Um, you could, in theory, maybe run a modest um, Charizard to uh, give yourself a bit more power. The only problem is, though, you know, with that in mind, you no longer outspeed um, Max Speed Jolly X Drill um, with Mold Breaker, which is a huge problem. Um, so I highly don't recommend it. Um, I recommend Timid all the way. Over Heat Wave, you could put Blast Burn. You could put Hurricane over Air Slash if you wanted a little bit more power. Um, uh, right at the start of the format, a lot of people were using Charty Berry uh, Charizard to survive a Max Rock Fall from Max Rock Fall from the likes of Exodrill. Unfortunately, though, if you're standing in front of an Exodrill, unless you've already broken its sash and can guarantee you're going to move before it, then I don't really think you should be um, too keen on this one v one matchup. Um, I personally run this set on my Charizard. I like Protect. Um, you know, it's standard in VGC. Um, it gives Charizard a lot of usability outside of um, Gigantamaxing. Same with Heatwave instead of Blast Burn. Um, I did consider Blast Burn. Obviously, it's a 
G-Max Wild Flames with Heat Wave is 130 versus 150. The only problem is Blast Burn is like Hyper Beam. It'll take a turn to recharge. So unless you're um, hell-bent on not being able to um, survive the next turn, then there's not really much reason to click Blast Burn. Um, so in my opinion, I like Heat Wave. The spread move is awesome, especially if you're going against Double Trick Room. Um, if you partner with something like Torkoal and Ninetales, which we'll get into in a little bit, that also carry Heat Wave a lot of the time, um, you're possibly going to uh, um, get a double KO there, which is just absolutely amazing. Um, in terms of other items, obviously, like I said, Charity Berry. Again, no, um, I wouldn't advise using it. Um, if you run against Char uh, Tyranitar, for example, you're not getting rid of it at all. Um, you know, Max Overgrowth is not going to do enough, even in Sun. Even with Modis and Life Orb and Soda Power, it's still not going to be enough damage. Um, and then you're just going to get O-Code by a Max Rockfall. Um, <clears throat> but another item you could use would be um, Assault Fest. This adds um, a lot more bulk to Charizard. Overprotect, it has a few option options to be honest with you. Um, Ancient Power, I'd say, is a no-go. You don't want to be setting up sand because most of the time with Charizard, you're going to want to have Sun on the field. Um, but other options that are, there is Focus Blast. Um, can hit steel types. Uh, I mean, you already hit steel types with fire types, so I don't know why you would want to do that. But um, it can hit um, things like T-Tar maybe um, much harder than Overgrowth. Um, personally, though, unless you're looking to use um, the Focus Blast to rise the attack of your partner Pokemon, um, which most of Charizard's common uh, partner Pokemon aren't normally physical. So personally, I don't think that's too useful. But on the other hand, though, Dragon Pulse. Now, Dragon Pulse will is a special special base move, so it's using Charizard's strongest stat, but it also lowers the um, opponent's attack stat. Now, lowering an opponent's attack stat by one stage plus Assault Fest, you're adding a lot of bulk to Charizard in just that um, just in that conversation. Though Assault Fest effectively gives you a plus one special defense. Obviously, using Max um, Worm Rind when a, when um, the situation is there. Um, you know, you're lowering the attack, effectively giving yourself more physical bulk. Um, a lot of the time, though, if you are going to be Gigantamax in Charizard, you're going to want to be hitting that Wild Flames. Um, if you Gigantamax Charizard and you don't do a lot of it and you don't get up that Wild Flames, um, then really you're losing out on a lot of um, the benefit of doing it in the first place. Um, I consider, I use Charizard a lot in the start of the format. Um, and to me, um, it's a great Pokemon. It's extremely strong under the sun. I also think it's a very high risk, um, high reward Pokemon. Um, if you don't position it correctly on the playing field, um, it can go sour very quickly. Um, Charizard is a Pokemon that your team is going to have to support it, okay? you. Um, I mean, you can throw it onto the old random team and you don't even have to run Sun with it. You could use it as an anti-Sun um, Pokemon. Again, no, that's probably not too um, beneficial wasting a whole slot Pokemon just for that situation. But by all means, though, Charizard is an immensely strong Pokemon, but it does require a lot of support to make work in a in a metagame filled with um, Pokemon like Tyranitar and Exodrill. But we'll get into now some of the partners of Sable Way, because um, Charizard's set is very staple. Um, there's not a lot you can do with it. It's either Assault Fest, Life Orb, maybe Charty Berry. Um, Soda Power is the better ability. I mean, you could argue Focus Sash plus Blaze. You know, you survive a max rock from one HP. Unfortunately, that's going to set up the sand, so you're going to die the next turn anyway, but you'll be able to get over 50% boosted Wild Flames, maybe. Uh, it's gimmicky, though. You're not going to use it, so I'm going to say no to that. But um, one of, uh, we're going to go into Charizard's uh, most useful partners now. Um, the first one is going to be um, a Sableye with a Rosalie Berry. Um, <clears throat> it has pranks to Sunny Day. It has pranks to Squash, so it can make a Pokemon that threatens Charizard and move last and effectively take it out, such as maybe Exodrill. Um... Fake Owls was a good support. Uh, Sunny Day sets up the sun for you. Again, making you immensely strong. Um, with uh, Sableye, I mean, this isn't a video about Sableye, so I'm not going to go into it too much. If I was going to use a Sableye, I personally use a set like this. I like mixed bulk. Um, I don't bother running speed. I don't see the point, um, but there is a case for it. Um, but again, this video isn't about that. Um, you can run a foul play on Sableye as well. If you want a um, one-shot non-Dynamax uh, drag pole, I prefer knockoff because it's great tech move. Offers a lot of support. <coughs> um, next in list here is Whimsicott by no surprise. Uh, Whimsicott offers a lot of different um, support here. Um, it has access to pranks to Sunny Day and Tailwind. Um, Tailwind means you'll be able to move um, against faster Pokemon such as... Um, uh, 
sand rush x drill um in the sand the x drill is not going to be moving before your um pranks to charizard in uh tailwind which is uh really good um fake tears uh, will lower their special defense by two stages so it can uh, help pick up some sweet ko's on a uh, tyrant on a uh, sorry on charizard here i don't know if it will ko um tyranitar i want to say probably not um it's extremely bulky tyranitar especially in the sand <coughs> um moon blast is just a great coverage in case you get taunted um very simple ev spread max special attack and speed timid nature with a focus sash if you did have your focus sash already taken and you choose to use a different item such as um uh, maybe mental herb or pixie plate or a device taking the special attack investment and putting it into hp just to add yourself a bunch of more overall bulk um so you can hopefully get more use out of whimsicott um you could also put protect over fake tears or even energy ball if you really wanted um <coughs> But that's a very uh, standard uh, partner there with Charizard. Now, here we have the two, um, only two draw users in the game. First one is Torkoal. Um, personally, my favorite draw user um, is Torkoal. I love the Fire Turtle. Um, I always use it with a Charcoal, although you could put maybe an Assault Fest on here as well and put Earth Power over Protect because Earth Power is a great move for knocking out Pokemon like. Um, uh, it helps beat Pokemon that could maybe wall Charizard a little bit like um, Incineroar. Um, Arcanine, where Charizard might struggle to do um, damage against them. I mean, most of the time with Sun Up, it's not. It's going to do a lot of damage, but sometimes it's a situation where uh, your game doesn't go as you want it. So, um, Torkoal, <coughs> absolutely great partner Pokemon. Also works as a Pseudo Follow Me user, um, because if they don't attack this slot and they let it sit at full HP, I tell you, Eruption is going to do hefty damage. It has absolutely, uh, I mean, it's base 70 HP is not too great, but it's bulk in defense. It's absolutely amazing. As like I said, if you put an Assault Fist on this, it becomes pretty bulky overall everywhere. Um, so it's an option. Um, and of course, you've got that double heat wave. Now, the other draw user is Ninetales. Now, um, Ninetales is an actual <coughs> really good Pokemon. Um, it also sits at 100 base speed like Charizard. So it's two extremely fast um, spread users. They can both learn Heat Wave, and against Double Trick Room, this thing is going to absolutely rock your, their world. Okay, firing off a double weather boosted Heat Wave is going to hurt. Um, Focus Ash is the the item I'd probably use on Nine Tails. You could argue maybe Specs as well. Um, Nine Tails is a good Pokemon. It has access to Solar Beam, Heat Wave, um, even Overheat. It also has access to a very fast Willow Wisp, which going to definitely help out, help out Charizard's physical bulk. Like I said. Uh, partnered with Max Wormrind and Assault Fest um, plus Will-O-Wisp here. Um, Charizard uh, gets uh, quite a lot of bulk. Um, another partner you could actually put with um, Charizard would probably be Grimmsnow actually. I'm pretty sure Grimmsnow does learn uh, Sunny Day so we will look at that quickly now actually. Most Grimmsnow, what do they carry? Probably uh, Focus Sash. No, um, let's say we're going to do Screen. So let's do a Light Clay uh, Grimmsnow here. Does it learn Sunny Day? No, it doesn't learn Sunny Day. Okay, so we'll take that back. Um, for some reason, I thought Grimmsnow learned Sunny Day, but it doesn't. Never mind. Right, so these are probably your partners. Um, then Charizard Saberite, Charizard Whimsicott, <coughs> Charizard Torka, which is personally my favorite uh, combination, and Charizard Ninetales. Charizard Torka gives you a little bit of a Trick Room variant as well. If your partner is, uh, if your opponent is a hard Trick Room user, um, Torkoal is a very scary Pokemon for them to face up against and uh, set in Trick Room because Torkoal hits like a truck in it. Um, it's so, so, so slow at base 20 speed. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but that's uh, pretty much it for Charizard. Um, it sets are quite shallow. Um, it is basically what it is. But like, again, you could run Blast Burn and Hurricane if you want to hit harder. Even Weather Ball, but again, very situational. But first, let's go over to Picolytics and see how everyone else is using their Charizard. So the four most common moves are Soda Beam, Protect, Heat Wave, and Air Slash, which does not surprise me. Followed by Blast Burn, um, Hurricane, Flamethrower, Mystical Fire, Agent Power, and other. Uh, teammates, we've got Venusaur here, Torkoal, of course. Dusclops. Uh, surprised it does seem Nine Tails there, but it could be um, outda un outdated. Uh, Soda Power is the uh, ability of choice. Um, Life Orb here as well. Um, you don't really want to be using a choice item on Charizard because you're going to Gigantamax it most of the time. EV spreads again, very simple. They're all timid, max special attack and speed. Uh, with the odd modest one there. <clears throat> now let's have a look at um, badbreed.net and see what uh, 
sort of teams Charizard's been used on. So you got Charizard and Venusaur, very common. Torkoal, Hatterini, Conkelda, Charizard and Whimsicott there. Charizard, Torkoal. Ninetales, Charizard. Torkoal, Charizard. Uh, Ninetales, Charizard. Ah, just Charizard on this one. Torkoal, Charizard. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so as you can see, a lot of these um, teams do have a Charizard with a lot of support. Yeah. But, but like I said, there's a lot of high risk to high reward with Charizard. If you don't put it off correctly, it can faint very quickly. It's very frail. Most um, very strong boosted water type moves will take it out. Um, electric type moves will take it out. Like I said, I've um, used a lot of physical Volt Tackle Raichu. And it does an immense amount of damage to Charizard. Um, I think something like 75%. Um, with a crit, it's going to be an OKO. With a little bit of damage stacked on top of it, it's going to be an OKO. Um, so Charizard is, like I said, a very high risk to high reward Pokemon. Um, it does require a lot of team support to really get it going. Um, because it does kind of need that sun up um, to hit hard as possible. Um, Life Orb is also required, but it also chips away a lot of its HP every turn, stacked with Solar Power, which means it will faint very quickly. Um, you know, if you've got the Sun Up, if you've got Life Orb, um, by the end of that turn, you know, you've already taken a bunch of damage um, just from Recall. Um, and that's without even taking any attacks onto Charizard. Um, it can also benefit from Follow Me support um, and all that good stuff. Um, like again, like I said, it's very high risk to high reward Pokemon. There's not really a lot to say about it apart from that. If you do want to build around Charizard, make sure you're building the team around to support it. Um, unfortunately, if you do bring Charizard, um, it's one of them Pokemon where you feel very pressured to try again to max it. When I've used Charizard, I, and if I bring it on my team for that match, I feel very uh, pressured. I mean, this is just me personally. I feel very pressured to try again to max it. Otherwise, it doesn't do too much. Um, unless you're using a double sun lead with double heat wave to take out something that's much slower then of course that's really good but like I said in a meta game with Tyranitar being one of the best Pokemon in the format um, it's a Pokemon that requires a lot of support and uh, uh, also GMAX Wild Flames is absolutely strong as hell I don't think we've spoke, spoken about it but it does continuous damage for four turns okay the only Pokemon that are immune to this are fire types and Pokemon with magic guard um, Otherwise, whatever Pokemon is in that slot for four turns, they will take um, passive damage. I think in total, it adds up to a total of 166% damage, which is a lot. For a move, um, just being a passive effect, that's a lot of damage and it's very strong. Especially paired with a Pokemon with Soda Power, 109 base, special attack and 100 speed. Um, you know, it's a scary looking Pokemon if you can get it going. It's a very scary Pokemon if you get it going. Um, but if you don't, um, it can be very uh, frail. And uh, not so great. Um, so like I said, high risk, high reward Pokemon. Um, I don't really think there's much else to say about it apart from that. Um, so it's going to be a relatively shortest video, I think. But um, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. I hope this um, helps you use Charizard as well. Um, I'm going to try to get one of these out for every Gigantamax Pokemon there is. Um, so until next time, I will see you all later. Uh, Rob out for now. Goodbye.